Well, it feels like Monday over here. Yep. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Now, we know that we are in Wildcat country, right? Alumni right here. And people can't wait to show their UA pride on things like shirts and hats. But the real fans, they show it in their smile. To explain what we're talking about is Dr. Kurt Kaser. Mm -hmm. Doctor, we're talking about showing your UA pride in your yeah. smile. And you guys get this little perk because you guys are the official kind of like the smile of the Wildcats. Yes, yeah, it's been great for us. And like you're saying with the block A braces, we're able to show it off. They, they go on the two front teeth and they can, uh, they can do footballs and basketballs and stars in different shapes on either side. So it's been great. It's been great for the kids. Oh yeah. yeah. I think that's so cool. I really do. I love yeah. that. And and I bet we have some maybe college students or even alum that yeah. are looking into braces as the holiday season comes. So this could yeah. even be kind of an awesome gift. Yeah, yeah, it's been surprising. We've actually had a lot of adults. We thought it would be mainly kids who would who would choose them, but a lot of adults have as well too. And, and you're saying with the holidays coming up, it's really, for us, it's it's always amazing to see for people who who give it as a Christmas gift, uh, with all the other gifts that are out there that people a few years down the road said is the best gift I've ever given, wow. whether it's a grandkid or a parent to give them the gift of a smile. And I think yeah. some people think, well, I don't know, doctor, giving some braces for, you know, the holidays, yeah. that kind of maybe sounds like a little bit outside, you know, my expense zone of what I want to spend for the holidays. But yeah. you guys help in, you know, getting the orthodontics and, and getting that, something that we can all kind of reasonably handle. Yeah, yeah, and, and we really take pride in, in being affordable. Um, the couple of different ways that we do that with financing and we really, have made it somewhat of our mission that we want everybody to be able to afford braces if they really want to. And, and we work really hard on that. We take a lot of pride in that. That's amazing. So kind of talk us through some of the ways that you do help us afford, because I know a lot of people, they don't have it just to throw down right away, yeah. but you do have kind of payment plans and things like that. Yes. Yeah. And that's the biggest thing. No interest uh, financing in office, which over the, over the course of treatment and then low down payments as well too. Which, is, which has been a big thing. A lot of people feel like that's a, that's a great bonus that we offer with low down payments and then the extended uh, monthly financing. And with those options, there's also options when it comes to the actual braces. Of course, we've yeah. got that block A, which everybody, yes. you know, like yeah. you said, adults or kids, I think yeah. everybody thinks this is an amazing thing to have because, yeah. again, we're in wildcat country. That's yeah. true. But we also have Invisalign. We have so many different options when it comes to really making our smile, which is something we didn't have when I had braces. Yeah. You know, and now I feel like some people could be straightening their teeth and you didn't even know they were doing it. Yeah. Yeah. And even Invisalign's always huge. You know, yeah. a lot of people love Invisalign, especially adults. But uh, there's also a big group of people who go with the clear braces. So instead of the traditional metal or silver ones, just having clear braces on is very, it's a lot less noticeable as well. And people feel very comfortable with those. See, yeah. I wish those were around yeah. <laughs> when I was younger. I wish most of this stuff was yeah. around. I had yeah. just the big, fat, silver ones. So. Yeah. Yeah, you get the bands all the way around the teeth. All yeah. of them. I sure did put those colored rubber bands in, though. The yeah. pinks and the greens. Yeah. I loved oh, it. Yeah. Green. Not my best choice, but <laughs> well, still totally did it. Green and red during the, uh, the Christmas Absolutely. Yeah. Red and blue for yeah. U of A, but yeah, yeah, the block A is way cooler. I yeah, oh, yeah. 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 So I know that a lot of people who want to get their teeth fixed, they think, well, I have to go to my dentist first. I'm not due yeah. for for another dentist appointment for six more months, you know, yeah. I have to wait. But is it true that you have to have a referral from a dentist or is that a myth? No, it, you don't need a referral. And now there's things that we want to make sure that the overall dental health is good. And there's a couple things that we want to check off in some people, but, but overall you, you do not need a referral to see an orthodontist. And I think maybe that comes along because people really don't understand the difference between, you know, going to an orthodontist or going to your regular dentist. Yes. What really is the big difference? Uh, orthodontists go to at least two and a half to three more years of school after dental school to specialize just in doing braces. So the, the, that difference between dentists and orthodontists is actually really big in terms of experience and training and being able to get to that point to be confident in knowing what you're doing. Yeah. So, doctor, I know a lot of people when they're when they're kind of considering their options as far as fixing their teeth, um, they're concerned with how long things will take. So yeah. maybe could you walk us through the different the different things you offer and kind of maybe how long they take? Yeah, the the average case in our office usually takes about a year and a half to two years now. So there, there's been a lot of technology that's actually able to reduce the amount of time that we're in braces, but still getting the results that we want to as well. So the, the diff, most of the options fall within that year and a half to two year range. Sometimes if it's a milder case, sometimes Invisalign can speed things up. Uh, but, but overall, that year and a half to two years is pretty average for most people in most cases. And I think a lot of people think when they think braces, they mean, 
oh, I don't have like a ton of problems. I've just yeah. got this one tooth that's off or this one thing. Yeah. When actually that was my problem. I had one tooth that was kind of out of whack yeah. and it kind of messed up teeth that I didn't really visually see. Yes. So correcting it all was something that helped me, you know, as I, be, I became an adult. So yeah. even if a parent is looking saying, oh, we've just got a little bit of a problem, it still may be an option for them. Yeah, and, and we look at it uh, of the whole uh, both everything, the mouth, the upper and lower yeah. teeth, how everything fits together. And that's one of the big differences, I feel like, between dentists and orthodontists as well, too, is that training to know that, that, that uh, there's bigger problems there that take a lot and take people to know what they're doing. Yeah, definitely. Well, doctor, I'm so glad that you were on today. I love that you're wearing your Wildcat yeah. shirt. <laughs> it was Changes perfect timing. Today. But um, yeah. with the holidays coming up, I think this is a great thing that we should be thinking about. So I want to yeah. thank you so much for being on and joining us this thank morning. You. And again, OrthoPros offers free consultations and braces for just $99 per month. Also available are Invisalign, traditional braces, and Block A braces. For more details, you can call 290-8787 or visit orthoprostucson.com.